Pap smear. You've probably heard of it before, but what exactly is it? And why do doctors recommend it for women's health? Today, let's break down everything you need to know about the pap smear test in a clear and simple way. Many people feel nervous about this test, but the truth is, pap smears save lives. Today, I'll walk you through what a pap smear is, why it matters, how it's done, and answer some common myths and questions. By the end, you'll see that this test isn't something to fear, it's something to empower your health. A pap smear, also called a pap test, is a simple screening procedure that looks for changes in the cells of your cervix. The cervix is the lower part of the uterus that opens into the vagina. The test doesn't diagnose cancer directly, but it can detect precancerous changes, tiny warning signs in the cells that could, over time, develop into cervical cancer. Because of pap smears, the rates of cervical cancer have dropped significantly in countries with regular screening programs. It's one of the best examples of prevention in modern medicine. So, who should get tested? Most medical guidelines recommend starting pap smears at age 21. From 21 to 29, it's usually done every three years. From 30 to 65, you might have a pap smear every three years or a pap smear combined with an HPV test every five years, depending on your doctor's advice. After 65, or if you've had a hysterectomy that removed the cervix for non-cancer reasons, you may not need pap smears anymore. But always confirm with your doctor, since recommendations can vary. Here's what happens during the test. You'll lie down on an exam table, usually with your feet in supports. The doctor inserts a small device called a speculum into the vagina. This holds the walls open so they can see the cervix. Using a tiny brush or spatula, they gently collect some cells from the surface of the cervix. These cells are preserved and sent to a lab, where specialists check them under a microscope. The whole thing takes just a few minutes. You might feel pressure or mild discomfort, but it shouldn't be painful. For most women, the most awkward part is simply the position, not the procedure itself. Cervical cancer develops slowly, often it takes years. The main cause is persistent infection with certain types of HPV, the human papillomavirus. With pap smears, doctors can find abnormal cells early and prevent cancer. So, what do your results mean? Normal, no abnormal cells found. Great news! Just return for your next scheduled test. Abnormal, this doesn't mean you have cancer. It simply means there are unusual cells that need closer attention. Your doctor may suggest repeating the test, doing an HPV test, or a procedure called a colposcopy to look more closely. Inconclusive. Sometimes the lab can't get a clear result. Maybe there weren't enough cells. In this case, you'll likely just repeat the test. Let's clear up some common misconceptions. A pap smear tests for sexually transmitted diseases. Not true. It only checks cervical cells. Separate tests are needed for STDs like chlamydia or gonorrhea. If I feel fine, I don't need the test. Cervical changes usually have no symptoms until very late. Screening is the only way to catch them early. The HPV vaccine means I don't need pap smears. Also false. The vaccine protects against the most dangerous HPV types, but not all of them. Screening is still essential. It's too embarrassing or painful. It might feel awkward, but remember, healthcare professionals do this all the time. For most women, it's only mildly uncomfortable and lasts a few minutes it could save your life. Pap smears are one of the simplest, quickest, and most effective ways to protect women's health. So if you're due for your screening, don't put it off. Book that appointment, talk to your doctor, and give yourself the peace of mind you deserve. Prevention is power. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more science content, and share it with friends who are curious about science. Thank you for your attention. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and never stop being curious about the science of life.